Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays Prison Architect. Thank you, by the way, to everybody who gave me tips in the last episode on how to solve my multitude of problems. One of those problems, hey, why aren't my CCTV cameras connected to CCTV monitors? Turns out we needed to use something I'd never used before, which is called the Connect tool in our um, utilities menu. I have no idea. I've connected them all, as you can see here. I think it might take our workmen some time to actually build them, but that's okay. Um, there's connections going to this one over here as well, and this one over I'm not sure if you have to connect them all together or something like that, and then they all end up being in a web, but they're all connected to monitors, in the least. Also, what else? This exports area doesn't need to be an exports area, basically. Did I build a second classroom? I'm just trying to remember if I did that before the, uh, end of the last episode. I thought that I did, but maybe I didn't. Also, is there still a big hole in my prison? I think that's been taken care of, thankfully. Um, maybe I didn't build another classroom. Alright, but the exports room is supposed to be outside, like adjacent to deliveries, in order to actually get sales going here. So what we're going to need in order to do that is, uh, we'll pretty much just replace this room with a second classroom. We already have a second classroom. Am I an idiot? And Don't answer that. Our prison's getting too big for its britches here. I remember building it! Yeah, like, this is our good classroom, isn't it? Oh my god, my, my, there's our, that's the big one, okay, I got it. Never mind, this is our second classroom, I think, this is for general. Okay, so we want to make this room into something, I'm not sure what yet. For now, we'll just, um, you know, right-click this all off, and we'll make an exports room elsewhere. Also, people told me you need a door to actually be able to assign people into your, um, your workshop. That makes a lot of sense, so we'll get that sorted out, and then I'll just quickly, uh, pop down like an exports area. I think you can just make it outside. It doesn't need to be enclosed. Exports is the truck. No room requirements. Exports. Here you go. And we'll uh, use materials. Demolish this wall. And then uh, establish a fence kind of around the perimeter like this. And this should solve us some problems. Uh, the only other thing that we should do is go to our objects menu and sell individually all these wooden logs. We'll do something with it eventually, but for now, just get it cleaned up a little bit because it was getting uh, maddening, right? So, I'm happy to see uh, all this stuff go. What even is this? We can't sell it, but uh, we'll sell this log. Alrighty. That is a lot better. Let's get things going again in our prison. Now, we don't have prisoners arriving. We only have three spaces right now. Uh, I was like, why are my workmen installing those connections? And of course, it's because we're still establishing uh, the cell blocks that I was building because we are trying to get our prisoner capacity to 200. So we're a long way off from that. We're making decent money annually. Oh, you dirty, dirty dog. We've got to, uh, it's objects remove tunnels or materials remove tunnels. Thank God we had uh, like a psychic alarm. Oh. So we could uh, see a big flashing red fuck me triangle. This prisoner is going to be punished 24 hours in solitary. You have taken advantage of my trust for the last time. Who are you anyway? Tim Clark, 11 years for trafficking. That's going to be a much longer sentence now that you try to dig out of my prison. This shit cost me like $500,000 to build, man. Okay. This is still not totally wired in. Um, I can tell because connections aren't being built yet, but that's okay. $156 every hour. Feels pretty good. For speed 3, there's an awful lot of uh, slow walking here. That's all I can say. But, after all this stuff gets wired up, which is coming soon, um, we will... Again, we'll put some kind of special room here. We could use like a second storage room, I guess, this close. Um, one prisoners are due for release soon. That's fine by me. We could probably use more workmen, because they're taking for freaking ever to do things, but, you know, I guess that's part of the problem of having having uh, an enormous prison. Okay, we finally got uh, the electricity at least set up there. Two armed guards are in service, 16 prisoners are suppressed. Why is nobody saying that they're well treated? Normally, we had prisoners that were very happy with how they were treated. It seems like they might be like that after they get fed. Anyway, let's install these doors and then see if I can actually uh, inspire people. I really don't want to get rid of the metal detector. Uh, jobs. Yeah! That is 12. That's 13 right there, right? Yeah. Max jobs, 14. Okay, perfect. We only have 13 qualified prisoners, but whatever. I'm sure it'll fill out the proper way. Because the game's not an alpha or anything. 
Uh, sweet. So now they should be able to do something with those logs that get created, if I remember correctly. And we're not totally screwed. Like, we're not allowing our prisoners to escape through this export area, right? I believe that's the case. Okie dokie. Um, you know what? I was thinking, like, why don't we leave this jail door locked open? This one's going to be permanently closed. So people still can't escape. But this will at least allow our, our cooks to be a little bit more efficient. Alright, I think this is mostly set up properly. Even one of our uh, one of our CCTV cameras got taken care of. It says inactive, but I think it's just because they don't work yet in the game. It's not my own personal fault, I believe. I could be mistaken. Okay, so what do we want to do? The prisoners seem happy. One says they're well-treated. 56 prisoners well-fed. Um, six have serious complaints. What are the complaints? Low hygiene? Well, freaking take your time to shower then, you ding-dong. We'll use our clone tool, and uh, we'll start from the left wall. And we'll do it this way. So we each cell is going to cost us roughly like a thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's going to be kind of expensive. And we'll just make sure we have a brick wall kind of anchoring it here. And we'll put down our utilities and stuff as well. Uh, it is going to be kind of expensive. I hope it's not cost prohibitive, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this will allow us to get more prisoners in, which will allow us to, you know, of course, make more money. Which is really kind of the dream for the prison. At least as far as it has gone thus far. Um... So I still don't know really uh, what to designate this room as. It might be good to designate this as like another storage room. Why not? Two storage rooms. Things could be worse. It's not like we have any other rooms that really we need to build. A security room, I guess. 4x4 four four office, desk, chair, filing cabinet. 4x4. Four four. Uh, we'll, we'll do this just to fulfill the requirement, but we'll make more storage rooms in the future. I think, because the one that we've made thus far is pretty small. Uh, office desk. Good. Filing cabinets. Here. Whoa, that's a uh, that's an infirmary bed. We don't need that. What else do we need? Office desk, chair, filing cabinet. That's it. All right. Well, there's a room for our uh, security officers to go. We have five. One prisoner is due for release, like right now. We have uh, five capacity. We'll just wait on it. Yeah, everything's going okay in prison town right now. The metal detectors, like just. Stop being jerks and stealing my spoons. Those cost money, you know. I like how one of our uh, one of our CCTVs got wired in, and that's the only one that happened. But whatever. Again, the CCTVs supposedly don't work in this alpha anyway, so I just built them to fulfill that requirement. Let's see if there's any grants that I might want to get. Everything seems good need wise. I will tolerate like no. Oh, my bladder hurts. Like just there's so many toilets. Just get sent to solitary, and then you can urinate there. It's one of the best perks. Really a uh, cost-efficient prison. We have like one staff for every 1.3 prisoners. Um, grants, okay. Prison manufacturing. Produce 30 license plates. This will be in the workshop. Tool cleanup. Remove the supply of stolen tools. Remove the supply of stolen weapons. I don't know how to do that, to be honest with you. Maybe we've already done it. Um... Sure, let's try a prison manufacturing facility. I think in order to do this one, we're going to need a second workshop. I'm not totally sure, though. Oh, good. Almost all of our uh, cells are finished up here. Just build the doors last. Look, I'm not, a, I'm not a programmer, nor am I even a game designer. But to me, if introversion is listening, need some logic, man. Just, just give the workmen some logic so they put jail doors on last. That would be so helpful when it comes to actually, like, organizing a, an efficient supply chain here. Um, we're about to go to sleep. I think we can definitely allow some new prisoners in today. This will take us up to 119. And we'll be able to hold 129, I think. So we might even be able to let some in tomorrow. So some people have asked, they're like, Northern Lion, what are you going to do, um, like, to spice things up, you know? Because our prison's running pretty well, apart from the occasional explosion and death. Uh, excuse me. What's going on in here? Is there a bunch of rubble? 
I would like this cell searched, please. Um, apart from the occasional, uh, you know, explosion and death, uh... Uh, it seems okay. That everything's fine. Uh, well, I'm thinking that when the we'll ride this one out until the next alpha comes out. We'll try to make the biggest prison we possibly can. Uh, when the next alpha comes out, maybe we'll do like a challenge prison. We'll try to do like a high uh, security prison with max security inmates. Uh, maybe we'll make it a little bit larger. I'm not sure. We'll we'll try something to mix it up. And of course, whatever's new in that alpha will be new as well. All right. So our workmen should be pretty much good to go. Yeah, we're still doing okay on our our first generator there. Making $3,000 a day. I think we could use a couple more janitors. How many do we have? Yeah, let's put another two down. Costs like $100 a day, but uh, help keep the prison clean. That's like one janitor for every 15 people. I can barely pick up after myself, so... Uh, I, I don't think they have a particularly easy job here. And you know what? Uh, we, we have money. Why don't we just take a second to put utilities down first? So we'll build like a large pipe up like this. And then we'll do a uh, small pipe here to the end. And this should stretch far enough. And we'll just clone some more cells because I don't think there's any reason. Like our prison seems to be running just fine. Why don't we just keep it going and we'll uh, uh, we'll clone. But we don't need to clone the left wall this time. So we'll clone the right wall like this. Um, and yeah, this should allow us to uh, basically expand. And I think it's pretty much guilt-free expansion. Everything seems to be mostly handled okay. And does this fit properly? I mean, we could put a solitary room there. Instead of putting a solitary room, the other thing we could do is create like a quicker connection to this hallway, which would allow them to get where they want to go faster. But then we'd have to remove all these objects. Lame. Um, instead of making a solitary room, I really think that we'll just demolish this wall. And then that way, you know, it's it's not perfect, it's not even, but uh, it does give them a quicker access to maybe the canteen, although I'd rather they go to this canteen because it's kind of bigger. And if I could restructure this prison, if I could rebuild it from the ground up, which we would in a, you know, a second season, or whatever you would like to call it, um, what we would do for sure is organize it around a bigger canteen. Like, I mentioned this in the, the last series of episodes, but, um, you know, when I've been playing off camera, I've been really... Investing heavily into the kitchen and canteen right off the bat and usually like a pretty big yard as well But the canteen like there's no reason to do it like I've done it Can't build there, huh? Um, the way I've done it is is just genuine genuinely bad uh, by putting uh, You know like a, a small canteen or a medium-sized canteen like Every 40 prisoners. Eh, it's not the right way to do it. It's okay. It's getting the job done for now, but uh, could be better. So we'll start to see if there's a... What the, oh, those are armed guards. I was like, why are these workmen, like, they're carrying trash bags around on their back? Kind of freaking me out. My guess is that we should probably not allow prisoners to enter the exports area. Can we just build, like, a staff door here? Okay. Don't worry about the fact that the road gate totally ex uh, occludes it. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, new prisoners arriving in an hour. I'm excited. It looks like our goal of getting 200 prisoners is going to be, like, completely plausible. And I think we get $100 a day per, uh, per medium security prisoner. So we're going to end up getting, like, uh, another $1,000, $1,100 a day here. And everything's pretty much running the way it's supposed to now. I'm, I'm pleased that the system is at least working. I'm excited to see, like, I want to see what happens with this workshop tomorrow. There don't seem to be a ton of logs, which is something I appreciate a great deal. But I haven't seen anything get to the exports area either. Maybe it's going to storage instead, or maybe it's just being sold, I don't know. Okay, prisoners! Prisoners have arrived. Did I miss a wave? I'm not sure. That's okay, we can read these. Scott Waymark, six years for carjacking. Sean Busby, five years for assaulting an officer. Jeremy Fisher, fed up with life. Jeremy Jeremy Fisher climbed to the top of one of the tallest buildings in London to jump off and kill himself. Unfortunately, when Jeremy jumped off the Tower of London, he landed on and crushed a tourist and was convicted of murder. Sentenced to 13 years for false imprisonment. Jeremy spoke and Aaron Adriniola had a plan to subtly steal from the world's banks by hacking their systems, always uh, rounding down and deposit the difference into his account. It backfired when he ended up amassing millions in a week and attracting unwanted attention. It's a good movie. Emma, who doesn't like Office Space? 
Horace Smokey Pinkleton. Badass name. Horace never much cared for following the rules. The last time Horace broke the rules, it earned him 20 years for smuggling coke. Horace plans on smuggling while in prison. All he needs is a willing guard. Honestly, dude, you sound like kind of an asshole. Graham Fade Tyson, IT worker, common theme, in a major multinational corporation who murdered most of the senior management due to their incompetence. Ironically, the company is now thriving after the management cull. Hmm, yeah, that's part of it, but maybe also like the DUI and drunk disorderly behavior might be a reason that uh, you're here. Oh, we do have more prisoners. Jack Taylor, a private psychiatrist known for eating patients. So this is uh, some Silence of the Lamb stuff, just want to make sure I'm not uh, spoiling anything. Known accomplices were Mads Mikkelsen. He plays Hannibal in the NBC series. Anthony Hopkins, of course, played Hannibal Lecter in the Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal, and maybe Red Dragon. And Thomas Harris, the author of the series. His taste for fine food turned to obsession until his capture when he befriended Hugh Dancy, an FBI agent who saw too much. Hugh Dancy plays uh, Will Graham in the NBC series, which I've been watching right now coincidentally. Gareth Mead, great name uh, for a Nordic gentleman. James Daner. And Dan Hancock, also a particularly great name. Well, we got some uh, interesting characters here today. Does this rubble just never get cleared up? What's up with that? Um, noticing that there's a common trend of people who either A, hack the banks, or B, work in IT and want to murder their bosses. Uh, I, I worked as a database administrator for a time. I'm not saying I wanted to kill my bosses. All I'm saying is that maybe I can relate a little bit. I wrote the freaking user manual for a reason, and then you go in and bung the whole thing up. You think I wanted to spend my whole day doing technical writing? I didn't. All right. Well, everything in our prison's going fine. Five thousand bucks. That's a lot of bucks. Did I? Oh, it's work time. Okay, I want to see what happens in the workshop during work time. People are working in here, including Walter White. Uh, I think not everybody, unfortunately, is able to work. Because we don't have enough uh, stations. But we can build more stations. Remember when I built those stations earlier, the problem was that... Uh, oh, no, never mind. We're producing license plates. Hopefully to be sold. Are those going to end up... Oh, do we have something in our export area? No, he's just kind of chilling there. Mm. Well, we'll see what gets built here. It's possible that we might have actually built uh, some stuff. There's a lot of trash on the ground. Those don't look like lights. These look like license plates. Anyway, uh, we have, what, eight prisoners coming tomorrow? Honestly, our money situation seems fine. I kind of think that we should just uh, build another cell block along the wall. So let's take the back wall and the, uh, the left wall. And we want to build it like this. Why is this too big? Let me, let me look at this again. We want, oh, we don't want the forward wall. Well, we always want the forward wall because that's where the door is. Okay, so we would build it like this. Then we have all this space behind us. Maybe we could build like one... Like, enormously long shower area there. So remember, each one of these is going to cost me like a thousand. Yeah, if not more for the utilities and, and stuff. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty expensive build here. But that's okay. Because the faster we get the, the cells built, the faster we can make more money. And, it, you know, the idea is that this will work out. And we want to put uh, the brick wall up here. We're expanding very, very quickly. We want to build a wall all the way along here. Oh, that is, uh, that's pricey. That was like another 3,000 bucks right there. Yeah. And uh, we definitely want to get some plumbing in there as well. The game's getting a touch framey as we get, uh, you know, deeper and deeper into our geography here. I think that with these two pipes... Oh, that's not how I meant to do it. With these two pipes, we can get uh, enough plumbing to handle this area. So we'll do it like that. And then we'll come across like this. Just want to make sure like no one large pipe is handling the entire load. Why can't you build there? Because there's already a pipe going down there? Is that the case? Yes, yeah, so this should work. I know there's a gap there. There's supposed to be a gap there. All right, that was a lot of money. Um, but I think that's everything. Like we've already bought all of the uh, all of the materials. So this is going to be an episode with some rapid expansion, which I think is okay as we get closer to finishing this grant. 
We've also almost finished our um, our grant for prison manufacturing facility, which is amazing to me. How is our other program going, like uh, general education? Eh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Workshop safety is going okay. Kitchen safety is going okay. Everything's going okay. That's about it. Uh, what about carpentry apprenticeship? What do they need to pass workshop safety induction first? How many have passed workshop safety induction? 19. Uh, we need another workshop for it, right? Yeah. Each prisoner requires a carpenter's table. Voluntary practical advanced. I would like to do it because that will help our grade out. Like, what's our grading looking like right now? Reoffending rate is lower now. And our reform stat is finally coming up. It's a 1 out of 10. Could be better, but still. Security is good. Punishment is about even. And health is adequate. So reform is the most exciting thing for me. I, uh... I want to, uh... Get as much reform as is possible. Because I don't want these prisoners to come back. I want them to be, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. And I want them to stay gone. So I'm just trying to see, uh... Man, this place is like a pigsty, seriously. I thought maybe we could uh, deploy some, like a janitor specifically to an area. Oh, I forgot that we have a workspace at night too. Is that part of our regime? I have an extra one hour of work? I think I don't want, oh I did that to try to see if that would give them more time to get rid of the stuff in here, but I just fundamentally didn't understand how things worked there. Uh, so let's give them, let's give them another hour of, uh, lock up there. You know, spend some time in your cell. I think you got a little bit too much freedom, dare I say it. Everyone seems to be really well treated. That's a good thing, but, uh, at the same time, is it? Alright, so it's gonna take, uh, 132,000 years for this to get built. Built, I should say, uh. I'd like to get to the point where we're making like $10,000 a day. That would allow us to expand 10 cells every day. Which I think uh, I would like to see. Are these connections just like not actually working then? Is that how this is going? Let's see if that actually builds one. Hey, our janitor actually decided to come in here and clean. I mean, I feel for you. Again, we, only, we do only have six janitors for the whole freaking building, but uh, still. Those are not lights. I'm trying not to see the lights. I want to see the, the license plates. I can't look around under... Oh, maybe I can. Stack. Sheet metal times 10. That's a different thing. Alright, well. Why would I ever want to click on the lights? That's all I'm saying. I think the reason it's taking so long is not only because we have so uh, few workmen, probably. Uh, but also because our deliveries area is so small that the trucks can't really get in and out properly. As you can see, we have like a huge backup here. We could extend our deliveries area. Like, a lot. Like, what if we just did this? What if we put our deliveries area... Uh, deliveries is going to be like a green one, right? Yeah. What if we extended it like through to here? Please tell me this hasn't bunged up our supply chain completely. I'm trying to see, can you actually walk over into that area? Like, you can walk over the capacitors, I'm sure. I don't like to zoom into that, it makes, it's too noisy. So now we'll figure out if it's, uh, that the, the delivery area is too small, or maybe we have too few workmen. It could be both as well. Like, this is not a very efficient area over here, but hey, whatever helps. I think I might just leave this door locked open for now. Like, get this freaking... Oh my god, what the hell? Did I seriously, like, never fix this cell door here? Or, like, the cell wall? If so, that's very, very silly of me. Uh, it seems like the trucks are coming through a little faster now, so that's good. Prisoner capacity is up to 143. Oh my god. Build the doors last! It's very simple, just build the doors last! 145, well, we only have 8 showing up tomorrow, that's actually like, not very many at all in the whole scheme of things. And today's, uh... 
Today's Prison Architect episode has been pretty unremarkable, in a good way, I'll admit, but uh, at the same time, sometimes you want a little bit more excitement. That is one thing I wish the game was a little bit uh, more intense with. I wish there was more... Uh, I wish there was a little bit more impetus for things to go wild. I know that happens if you get uh, high security inmates, but at the same time, they just go wild for no reason. I'd like to see, like, you know, just a little bit more violence in it. Not because I'm, you know, I need violence in order to survive or, you know, feel entertained or something like that, but this is meditative and I like it. Oh, they're eating, so that's probably why they're happier now. Um, it's meditative and I like it, but at the same time, Sometimes I do, uh, I long for a little bit more anarchy here. Ed Beckwith, 20 years, no big deal. He's already, oh, 35 years, jeez. That's a long time, man. You've already served 15. You've been in here, you're a lifer. Mark Scales, great name. Sean McKenzie. Tom Pennington. Alex Slater. That's when you sit uh, backwards on the toilet and use the tank as an armrest. Three years for joyriding. Stephen Moon. Eight years for robbery. And just a bunch of boring old crimes today. Welcome to the prison, though. I am happy to have you. Mostly because you're a generous source of income. We've got 14 more prisoners coming in tomorrow. Ooh la la, that's money in the bank. Now, we're just, you know, taking, uh, because we've expanded so much this episode, taking a very close eye on the, uh, on the needs of the prisoners and how they're being affected here. Everyone seems relatively okay with things. Some red needs. For food? Like, you just ate. Maybe the canteens are starting to get a little overcrowded. That is something uh, we should take care of. We could build like a, up here we can build like another kitchen canteen complex. But I would uh, preferably like to get some grants to finish before then so that we could actually, uh, you know, have the money to do it because that's not looking amazing thus far. Um, let me look at my valuation. 340,000, really? That seems a little crazy. 350 now. I, w I want it to be more. Obviously, but I think it kind of should be more as well. Alright. It's taken like four hours for our prisoners to actually get assigned cells. That seems like something that's probably bad. Uh, we finished a grant. Uh, license plates. Enough license plates have been produced, I think. Sale price, 20 bucks. Aw, yeah. What are you doing over here? Are you dropping off license plates? Or you're on free time, so we just let you hang out in the exports area? Uh, that doesn't seem right. What's what's dropped off of this door? I can't really see. Uh, okay. But everything's going pretty well so far. Do we have prisoners close to passing the general education tests? No. Absolutely not. Uh, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. I, well, before we do it, let's just make sure we get actually all of the cells built here, just so I'm ready. Uh, this will take us up to like 164. Which means on the next episode, we stand a very real chance uh, of hitting 200, which would be sweet. But in the in the meantime, we should also 100% uh, build another shower and probably another canteen as well. And honestly, we need to hire more janitors, man. Like, actually... I don't want to say do your job, because I know you're literally programmed to work as hard as you can. But if you could just be programmed to work a little harder, that would be amazing. Alright, cells are being built. We're up to 160. Still got a few walls to build. Part of the problem is that, like, this prison is really sprawling now. Uh, and it, if, you, if you're a workman, you know, you got to take the stuff off the truck and then walk it all the way through this sprawling necropolis here. And that's really what it is. It's a city within the... City within the city here. It's getting quite large. It's got a larger population than uh, my town in Banished ever did. Let's put it that way. Just why? Like, what are you trying to do? Put the bed outside of the cell. This isn't a fucking sleepover, dog. Uh, I was gonna say it was like we don't have a bed here. I think you do. I think you do. We gotta build one last thing, and then we can end the episode. I'm happy with our amount of money at the very least. If we look at our finances. Half of our income is based on the fact that we haven't had an incident in, what, it was like five days is what it said? 5.5 days. Which is great, except that's, uh, you know, not 100% sustainable, probably. Although people do seem to still be relatively pleased with the way that the prison is being run. Is recreation a big thing? Let me take a look at that again. No, I mean, comfort is a little dicey. 
Recreation, family, sleep and food are getting taken care of just fine. I don't mind that. Um, hygiene, you can shower whenever you want, but we should probably build another like shower, canteen, and uh, kitchen up here. And then I think we'll be good. Maybe we'll build like a, another a big common room or something as well. I think the yard is big enough for people to hang out in. We might just want to build more stuff in it. But in any case, I think that's going to do it for uh, today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for the uh, incredible cumulative support you've shown on the Prison Architect series. It really is amazing. Uh, I enjoy playing the game. I'm glad that so many people enjoy watching it. And again, you know, thanks for the tips. Without those tips, I would not have made anything happen. Our workshop would still be a pigsty. Again, in any case, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.